the gospel. The gospel is the good news. The good news, the main key character in the good news is Jesus, Jesus Christ. But to the world, Jesus was just a boy, a boy born in Bethlehem outside of marriage. He was counted as an illegitimate child, and he was scoffed for it. He was also mocked because he was the carpenter's son, and he lived in a town that was treated horrible by everybody. Um, in the world standards, he was nobody to be proud about. He was nobody to be honored. He was born in a, a manger around a bunch of cow, a bunch of sheep and and animals that were were leaving their waste around. Um, but Jesus' story starts way before this. Um, he's prophesied way back in the third chapter of Genesis. He's shown as the offering of grace from God. Right after man and woman decide to sin against God, God already had a plan for them, for their salvation. And that was Jesus. Jesus was portrayed to be the one that would stomp on the head of Satan, that he would end all pain and suffering for us, all the way back in Genesis chapter 3. And then he's, put, he's going to be the child descended from Abraham that's going to bless all nations, and the king that will descend from David, the rightful heir to the throne, and his kingdom would reign forever. And everybody was waiting for this Messiah to show up, to bring them their salvation, to let everything be known to them. They were waiting for somebody that didn't come. They were waiting for somebody that would save them from what was material and not what was from spiritual. So Jesus came, and we're shown his perfect example of a life for us, the children of God. We're shown how to live our lives in righteousness and purity. He's born and, and his parents followed perfectly what they were supposed to do according to the law. And he was, he was accounted for. Um, he had zeal for his, for his father in heaven. He constantly would go to the house of God. Um, his parents even lost him at age 12 because he, was, he wanted to stay in the temple and, and hear the teachings about God. Um, his beginning of his ministry started after his baptism and his time of fasting in the desert. He got baptized and, by John in the, in the wilderness, who prepared the way for Jesus. He had let known that everybody um, was going to be saved if they accepted the person who was going to come after John. Um, that he was going to baptize with fire, not just water. Fire and the Holy Spirit. And when Jesus was baptized, he was alighted by the Holy Spirit and was confirmed by his Father. And then he went into the desert and was tempted by the devil, just like how we are, so that he could understand our pains. And he went throughout all of the towns of Israel and Judah and, and showed mercy unto the people. He showed compassion to the people who didn't deserve it. He sought out the weak and the hurting. He sought out and saved the, the sick, not the, not the healthy. He went to help those who were least expected. He went to tax collectors and fishermen, and he called them to be his disciples. And he healed crowds of people and raised people from the dead and cast out demons from people. And yet he was still scoffed. He was still called Satan. People would look at him and call him Beelzebul and his disciples even worse things and all sorts of bad names. And, and John, who had prepared the way, got beheaded for for being even associated with with this way, with the truth. And Jesus was the truth. And he showed that. He showed that he was the fulfillment of the law. He fulfilled all of what we needed to come to God. And his death on the cross, he lived almost 33 years and died on the cross as a criminal. criminal. He died as a thief among others who were actually criminals. People chose an actual criminal over Jesus, somebody who was stirring up problems in their city over Jesus, who had not done anything wrong. He was perfect in everything. They had lifted him up on the cross, gave him a crown of thorns and a robe of purple, and little did they know that he was the king 
of the Jews by mocking him and calling him the king of the Jews. He was a king that would bless all of the nations in his death and his burial for three days and his resurrection, that he would live inside of us and work through us even to this day. Jesus is right here with me. And if you accept him as your Lord and Savior, he's right there with you. Jesus is eternal and he's been with God for all of existence and is and will continue to be with him. And you can meet him someday personally, face to face in heaven.